What's up, 925 Gamers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some pressure out of the 4-4 split formation that can be found in the 4-3 defensive playbook. The play we're going to be looking at today from the 4-4 split formation is the, uh, the play zone blitz. And we're going to be using this play a little later on today to teach you guys how to stop quarterback sneak. But what we're going to do for today is we're going to look at a, uh, a blitz of the day here from this formation. And this is going to be able to send uh, two guys free, and you're only going to have to make one adjustment to it. Uh, actually, you can make two, two adjustments, uh, and it's going to help out your coverage a little bit. Okay. All we need to do at the snap of the ball is we're just going to crash our defensive line out, and then we can zone this linebacker. Now... You see it's going to shoot two guys free off the right edge, or off the edges. Now this is important, uh, and I, I want you guys to really listen to what I have to say here. Um, there are what we call problem formations in this game. Uh, formations like spread, or or uh, trips, or bunch, or, or bunch quads, or five wide. All those formations, and even tray open. Because what happens is, if we what happens when we base line is, you see these linebackers are all going to pinch inside. And now, it, you know... He can send Dixon right up the seams on this blitz and, and try to throw it quick or something. And, and guys, uh, trust me, sometimes they're going to be able to complete those. With this, we don't have to base a line because they're already blitzing. They're already going to sit right there. So now it makes it really easy. We could just get on to Williams, put him in a zone, and, and then we can just adjust out of this. And now it makes, um, and now it makes uh, throwing a streak... To Dixon here, it makes it a lot more difficult for them to do. As you see, there's three guys in position, and it's kind of funny that you know the example didn't work exactly how I wanted it to work out. But uh, trust me, guys, I've been playing a lot of games lately. Been actually trying to play a little bit more uh, frequently than I have been able to uh, as far as actual gameplay. And it's just it, it's something that I really like to do out of this 4-4. If I'm defending a spread formation like this, it, it helps you to spin a formation like this because you can now adjust faster because you don't have to worry about baseline and you don't have to worry about press coverage. All you have to worry about doing is just making adjustments to your zones and just knowing where they're going to be um, and just mo you know moving your guys around. And like I said, you know it's just unlimited amount of possibilities you can do and you already know that you're going to get two guys free, which is one of the better blitzes in the game, getting two guys free because a lot of people will try to counter this pressure um, by blocking a halfback or slide protecting. And when you um, send this many people at the quarterback, you see uh, we're going to be able to still get a guy free off the edge. I don't know what happened on that one. I think that the running back um, manipulated something. I don't know what exactly happened. Let's try that again. Let's take a look at that. And there you see there's the pressure. So it, it, it's just, it's all, sometimes the blitz angles will jump or something, but, but you know, for the most part, this is going to work. Again, all you have to do is crash your defensive line out. And uh, we're going to have another uh, setup from the 4-4 this week sometime soon. Uh, and the reason is because there's a couple of other ones that I really want to share. I've been working a lot with this 44 defense, and, uh, um, you know, I've already posted a scheme of the week on it, and I kind of want to do an updated version because I think it's a lot better now. But uh, we're gonna wait to do that a little bit later on in the in the year. But anyways, guys, add this blitz to your arsenal to start getting pressure in Mad 25. If you have any other questions about it, or uh, you know ha have setups that you want to share or whatever, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you're liking the 44 defense in Mad 25, and uh, let me know what you guys think about the Pittsburgh Steelers defense in Mad 25. Thanks for watching today, guys. I really appreciate another great opportunity to share with you guys. Be sure to stay tuned later on today when we break down some more tips, including how to stop quarterback sneak in Madden NFL 25. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later on in the day. Have a great day. We'll see you guys later.